So now let's look at how to generate smoke effect inside of Cinema 4D. In order to generate smoke effect, first of all, I'm going to bring in a particle simulator. So I'm going to go for particle uh, emitter right over here from my simulate under particle emitter. And now I'm just going to uh, rotate this over here onto the top, just like this. I'm going to flatten this out so that the, so that the particle uh, actually moves upwards. So if I were to play this, by pressing the space bar, you can see that the particles are moving upwards. So now what I have to do is I have to uh, work around to make these smokes visible. So I need to add in an environment. In order to add in an environment, I'm going to go over here just like this and not the floor, but if I were to click and hold, you can see that there's environment right over there. So I'm going to add in the environment right over here. And now I'm going to uh, create a smoke material. In order to create a smoke material, you can simply click on create right over here and then you can go to the menu right over here. And here you'll be able to see under materials right over here. If we were to go to create under materials, you'll be able to see these options. You got the new uh, pyro cluster material right over here. So let me bring in the new pyro cluster volume tracer material right over here, which is this one. And I'm going to drag this in onto the environment. You need to do this so that the smoke effect actually is visible. Now I'm, I'm going to create uh, another material right over here. So I'm going to go over here onto the material and I'm going to bring in the new pyro cluster material, which is the smoky material right over here. And I'm going to make this a child of the emitter right over here. So right there, you can see that now it is in the emitter. And you can see that the particle is being generated. And now what I'm going to do is, since the render takes time uh, for smoke, I'm going to reduce its size right over here. So I'm going to go over here. Let me just do 320 by 240 right over here so that it renders faster uh, in case of this tutorial. So you can see that it is here. And now I'm going to add in an environment because if I were to render anything right now, you can see that everything is really flat and you already get the smoky effect as you can see. And the animation is rendered as well. So you can add in lights and everything else. But if you were to add in an environment, you get more detail very quickly. So I'm going to add in a physical sky right over here, which gives a more depth. And now I'm going to render this out and we'll see out how this looks like. So this seems like a smoky effect right over there just like that as you can see so you add in an environment you press ctrl r uh, and you can see that the the so rendering takes time so i'm just going to go over here and then you can see that the smoky effect actually comes up just like this now you can tweak around the settings to get the effect you want so let me just go around 2000 frame right over here and tweak around with the settings right so, so if i were to play this you can see that the particle is not being generated anymore. So I'm going to go over here onto the emitter and I'm going to uh, change the frame right over here and let me just play this out. And you can see that uh, the uh, emitter will continue to generate just like this. So now what I'm going to do is on the side of the emitter, I'm going to increase maybe uh, the, bit, the uh, renderer right here, more particles for the renderer. So let's say uh, right around 30 and bit bitrate editor is when we actually edit this but if you were to increase this the particle will increase over here as well as you can see so let's say i want to keep the same because it does not take up too many uh, resources as you can see it's very very soft and now you can increase and decrease its lifetime over here right now it's 600 frames so i'm going to say something like 100 frames so it does really look like a smoke right over here so over here, maybe not a hundred frames uh, either, but I'm go just going to decrease this out. So over here, you can see that uh, this is a bit rate, um, th uh, 30 on the renderer, you got the visibility and then lifetime, let's say around 10 frames. So let's see how this looks out now. So you can see that it is really low. Let me just increase the lifetime right over here. I'm going to increase the lifetime even further right over here. Maybe increase the variation so it actually looks like a smoke. I can also decrease the sm speed right here. So maybe decrease the speed so it actually does look like a smoke right over here just like this. And increase the lifetime a bit more maybe just like that. So you can see that you can see all the particle effects right over here. Let me just disable the physical sky so that you can see everything clearly. You can see that this is the particle 
it is a bit slower just like this you can work around with the rotation right over here you can change around the variation right over here and you can also change around the end scale right over here just like that so just to make it sure make it look like more of a smoky type of thing effect so once you do that let me just press the render button right here so you can see that this is how everything else generates so it really generates like a smoke right here so in order to uh, see how everything looks like we're going to render a couple of frames and then see the smoky animation so you can see that it is actually looking like a smoke right now just like this so i'm going to enable uh, i'm just going to stop this so i'm going to enable the physical sky right here and then i'm going to go on to the settings and on the output uh, i'm going to set the uh, frame range so let's say i want to select around 400 frames to maybe 500 frames just like this so just selected it around this end. maybe i just want to uh, render a bit less so i'm going to say 4 20 frames right over here so just 20 frames to work with so once i said that i'm just going to render this out render the multiple frames uh, just like that without saving so that i can see the animation so i'm going to fast forward this now so now our uh, smoke effect has been rendered so let's play to see how it looks like and it looks like this as you can see so this is just 20 frames and you can see that it is soft on the top because of the life that we actually have and you can see that the smokes look like this so this is how you can uh you can create a smoke effect inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe